um, okay, and, and I'm hearing year end. I was listening to what Damien Duff had to say in his announcement as, as Shelburne manager about the uh, soccer infrastructure in Ireland being horrific. We have uh, a scenario where you've just outlined where every sports club, and including uh, local authorities, are trying to get a slice of this 200 million fund. Yet we have a horse and greyhound fund, which only one industry be benefits from, to the tune of about 100 million a year. Every single cent on every bet placed in Ireland on anything goes into this one fund that benefits one sport, and the majority of that funding goes to prize money. So isn't there a huge imbalance here between a major soccer uh, figure in this country saying that the soccer infrastructure is horrific, and yet the Horse and Greyhound Fund goes in its entirety to benefit one sport, the majority of that going towards prize money, you, and Deputy. nobody else benefits regardless of what the, the bet is placed on? Thank you, Deputy. Please, yes. Uh, no, I, I heard what, uh, what Damien Duff has said, and uh, one thing I know the FAI have been trying to do is to maximise their applications. If you look at what in the equipment uh, only around, uh, and if you look at in the sports cap around, a huge, there's been a huge increase in football clubs. The large scale sports infrastructure fund, which my colleague uh, Deputy Griffin was involved with, there was a, a significant number of football projects uh, announced under both streams. Uh, and I also acknowledge your point. I, I've had that feedback given to me by different sporting organisations in relation to betting. I know my colleague Minister Brown is establishing a new gambling regulator uh, and, uh, and I think a fairer spread uh, of around, around, uh, around betting tax more generally uh, would be more equitable. Um, and, uh, but what we're focused on uh, with our allocation for this year uh, is, to, is to have a a, a, a very, put a serious injection into all sporting infrastructure. Uh, you mentioned football, but a whole range of sports to develop uh, sport. And we've Thank got you, a very positive uh, budgetary allocation uh, for next year as well. Thank you. You have one minute, Deputy. And then, yeah, I mean, and all of it is follow sequentially then. Yeah, I mean, look, there's always there's a direct correlation between the performance of the national soccer team, which we'll hopefully enjoy tonight and conversations in houses like this. There's a direct correlation between the priority that a state or, or a parliament or a government gives to sport and the performance of the, uh, of the senior international teams, regardless of the code. And if you have a complete imbalance between every single cent on, every single <coughs> on the levy place, <coughs> on every single bet going to, to support one industry, to the tune of 100 million a year, ring fenced in, 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 in legislation, um, Majority of that going towards prize money, and it does support 20,000 uh, jobs. And I'm not in any way suggesting that that, that you know uh, that, that it shouldn't be supported. But there's a that, but there's a reason why that is thriving, and sports such as soccer uh, have, as Damien Duff described, uh, infrastructure that is horrific. So that imbalance, you've, you've you've acknowledged that there is an imbalance there, and needs to be it needs to be um, addressed. But I certainly think we need to tease it out more because it's not good enough for us to celebrate sporting achievement but not to make, ask the hard questions uh, in this parliament. Thank you, Deputy. So, Minister, you have one minute reply. Yeah, thanks. Uh, what I would say is that um, you know, there's record levels of funding going into sport this year, went into sport last year on current and capital. So it's not, there, there is, there is a, there's a huge amount of support for our sporting system, uh, and that's important to acknowledge that. Uh, with record levels of funding going into both, uh, with a sports capital programme uh, which will provide serious support for sporting infrastructure uh, for communities uh, right across the country. Um, and if you look at the budget increases and, and our, our national sports policy on doubling funding between 2018 and 2027, uh, underpinning record levels of investment in our high performance system, for example, if you look at what we allocated to that uh, in the, say, in 2005-2006, uh, versus what we, how we support our Olympic athletes last year, record increases. Um, and it is important that we, through the programmes like the Sports Capital and Equipment Programme, that we make sure sporting organisations and clubs uh, make, ap make applications so they develop that, that infrastructure. Uh, and the state right now is underpinning record levels of investment uh, in our sporting system, and it's important to uh, acknowledge that as well. Thank you.